Hello, this is Jan from JC Web Tech, and today I will show you how to create this scrolling effect with custom CSS in Elementor. So let's see how it's done. So I have created this design in Elementor. This is just a one image, first image in a column. You can have something different just to make it look even more like in browser. And here I placed my full size screenshot, also just as an image. If you don't know how to take such a screenshot of your website, you can use uh, Go Full Site extension in your in your Chrome browser, and it will take this full page screenshot. You can see there is some little issue with uh, the animations, but besides that, it's uh, working flawlessly. So you can use this image. Don't forget, don't forget to optimize it because it's going to be huge. So um, I would suggest you change the dimensions of the image to such dimensions you need and then you can optimize it further. I would recommend you uh, this image comprocessor where you can uh, further shrink the file size so that it's not huge. So let's go back to our, to our design. So now it looks like this, it's really, it's really long. And we will fix that, but first we need to give it class. I'm using portfolio for this. That's all the work we need to do in Elementor. Now we can go to the WordPress uh, customizer to place our custom CSS. You can also do it in Elementor Pro, or you can use some plugin or child team, but today I will I will use uh, this section to put my CSS and uh, just copy paste the snippet and you can see it's fixed. It fixed the design. I will explain it a little. Let's see how it works. So the, this uh, CSS code is telling us it's hooking to the portfolio class that I assigned to the image in uh, Elementor and it's telling it to the to the wrapper because image object in Elementor is not just the image, it's wrapped into a, into div wrapper. So the structure will look a little bit like, like this. So we have div, div wrapper around the image and this hole is the image element in Elementor. So we are telling that the wrapper around the image has the maximum height in of uh, 400 pixels and the overflow is hidden. What we will demonstrate what it does is that here we would still see the image overflowing the this wrapper, but if I give it this property overflow hidden, it will hide the image that is actually positioned here. It will hide it. And then we will style this actual image that is inside this div wrapper, like in this structure. And we will say that we'll have width 100% just to stretch it over the whole width of the, of the element. And in the initial state, we will say it will not be scrolled. It means that we'll, we will not be translating it in the epsilon axis by any, any measure. And the last thing is saying that any transition, any changes that we will apply on this element will take seven seconds. So here you can change it to your liking. You can delete this but just for demonstration of the structure. And last part is that this means that when we hover with our mouse over the, over the image, these CSS are going to be applied which means that uh, it will be scrolled in the epsilon axis by 100% minus the width so that it stops exactly where the screenshot where the screenshot is ending you can see it works well it even works on a mobile because uh, a click on the image will be represented same as hover so it's also mobile friendly you can get this uh, code in the description, but we can try to bring it even a little farther and make it a little bit more real life. So I have this another 
snippet here. It looks a little bit more complicated, but I will explain. Uh, first, I'll show you what it does. We have created like these uh, middle stages in the scrolling, so it resembles more the way how you would scroll this website. And so how it works, uh, we style the image in a similar way like we did in the previous example. We just change the animation a little bit and we give it uh, so-called keyframes, which means like we define this middle step of the animation. So we can see that uh, we defined that uh, on hover, we will give it this animation that's called scroll. That will take altogether 10 seconds and the keyframes of this animation scroll are in 0% of the animation, it's not scrolled. Then in 20% of the animation, it scrolls by 15%. This calc this step wouldn't need to be here because we are not doing any calculation, but it can stay here. Then in 40%, we'll scroll by 35%. In 60%, 55%. And then 80%, we will scroll all the way and then in 100% we will scroll back up. So you can see the 20, 40, 60, 80, we are down and now it will roll back up. So that's, that's pretty much it. You may need to play with these numbers depending on the length of your screenshot. So I would recommend using this one for like a unique uh, header styling this, for example i'm using in my website i'm using this effect for a portfolio so i'm sticking to this simpler one because i just don't want to be adjusting it for every single every single screenshot this is the final product i will give you the json file and both these snippets in the description feel free to share the results where you use this and i see you in the next one